Bona tarda. Laura Aparicio, Barça TV. Bona tarda, Iván. Good afternoon, Iván. What do you think about the midfield in Chelsea? It's one of the most physical, most powerful in Europe. Thank you. Muy buenas. Bueno, conociendo a todos sus, uh, sus jugadores, sí que son, uh, la verdad, muy fuertes, uh, que sabemos que pasar por ahí no va a ser muy fácil. Um, ante todo, Knowing all Chelsea's players, we know they're very strong. It's not going to be an easy game. Que, que trabajan muy bien todos esos detalles. They work very well on the minor details. They're very united as a team. They're going to make life, dif life difficult for us on the pitch. And so we're going to have to do everything we can to enter this battle. Would you say nil nil would be a dangerous result? You always start the game without thinking about what might happen, what might not. We'll do everything we can tomorrow to win the match. We want to score a goal away from home. We know it's not going to be the easiest thing to do. But that's all we know how to do is how to win. We'll have to see how we can do. Acá Iván, eh, Cristian Martín de Fox Sports América Latina. Te quería preguntar cómo, cómo lo ves a Leo en esta etapa, en la segunda etapa de la temporada. I want to see what your thoughts are on this second stage of the season. Barcelona found it very difficult against Chelsea in the past. Do you think Leo needs to um, uh, not play as much ahead of the World Cup? Leo works very hard. He's obviously been in the gym a lot in recent years, looking after himself. Or obviously having a hard training session every day. Giving 100%. And we need him a lot. There's not a lot of time to, to relax and look after yourself. But we need Leo. We need Leo Messi. And obviously everyone hopes that they play in the World Cup and goes into it fit and not injured. And you want to play in the World Cup against the very best, and that's the same for me, the same for Leo. And I'd love to play against Leo at the World Cup. Uh, Ivan, if you wouldn't mind answering in English, if that's okay. A uh, question from the BBC. Could you compare this Barcelona team this season, the, the system that you play, the style that you play, compared to last season, and what the demands are specifically on you in your position? Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's quite different because it's... Uh, uh, different for us if you if you're playing with three strikers or or now with with two and of course it's it's different if you have uh, a Neymar in your team or now without him. Uh, the most important thing that uh, yeah that we can understand uh, what happened on the pitch. So we have to be ready. We know that uh, for us now uh, with one player more in the midfield, it's it's a little bit easier to be yeah. To close this uh, direct line to, to our goal, and uh, yeah, wait for this for this moment to do this this pressure together. We have to we have to work it together. We know that there are a lot of things uh, for us uh, to work to yeah, to do it better in, in in every game. But it's quite easy if 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 you play with three strikers or now with two. So we have to change. But of this first uh, three or four games. Uh, yeah, we take it really, really fast, and now it's it's normal for us. So maybe to change again to play with three strikers, it will be yeah, a little bit hard <laughs> again for us. But uh, yeah, we have we have to do it together, and we have to show it also tomorrow. Ivan, aquí atrás, detrás de las cámaras, aquí, detrás de las cámaras, en el centro, mirando al centro, es muy grande. Hola. 
¿Qué tal? Carlos Escolar en directo para T4 de Radio Marca. Eh, se hablaba mucho de que el partido contra el Eibar, por las dimensiones del campo, por su forma de jugar, We spoke a lot iba a ser una buena played, para el partido pitch. contra el Chelsea. No sé si, evidentemente, salvando las dimensiones de la que tiene Chelsea arriba, más o menos puede Chelsea. servir la presión arriba, el equipo aguerrido, ese salir a la contra buscándos la espalda. Yo creo que... Si, si hoy mismo jugaremos otro vez contra el Eibar, Obviously we played against Eibar, no será el mismo como, como ha sido el otro día. But I don't think it will be the same as that day against Chelsea. Esa presión sí nos puede servir porque mañana también seguramente no, va, no nos van a apretar muchísimo. I don't know if Chelsea are going to press us as high as Neymar as Eibar did. Con todo el respeto a ese Eibar o también al Chelsea, creo que cada partido es diferente. And with all respect to Eibar and Chelsea, each game is different. Mañana vuelve vuelve la Champions. Obviously we're returning to the Champions League this week. It's an amazing competition. Por la competición, por las ganas que tenemos de, de jugar los grandes partidos. All players want to play in these massive games grande, on the big stage. Que, uh, prepararnos bien de la, bueno, de la mejor manera posible. And we're well prepared in the best way possible. Los partidos, like we are with all the games. Antes, y estar mañana, uh, bueno, pues sinceramente en, en nuestra mejor, uh, en mejor forma. And tomorrow we're going into the game in the best form. Iván, aquí, hola, muy buenas. Adrián Vets de la cadena SER. Eh, por la dinámica que lleva el equipo este año, Parece eh, prácticamente imbatible, imposible ganaros. The team Eso seems unbeatable this year. Favoritos, ligeramente favoritos para mañana. Do, para you think do you think Barcelona are favorites for tomorrow? Bueno, ojalá sea así en ese sentido de decir que uh, lo que queremos hacer es. Uh, in this sense, um, juego, what we want to do is just play another uh, game. Bueno, pues sinceramente reinar o manejar lo que pasa en el campo. Manage the game, uh, control the game. Lo que, lo que vamos haciendo, la verdad, va, va, va muy bien. Que What we're doing at the moment is going very well. Everything seems to be going to plan. Claro. That's clear. Um, bueno, mañana jugamos contra, contra el campeón de, de Inglaterra. But tomorrow we're playing against the, <laughs> the English champion, so it's obviously going to be a hugely tricky game. We have to give 100% to be able to win the game. Ganar el partido de la mañana sin pensar después a la vuelta. Um, so we have to win the game tomorrow and not worry about the second leg. Como aquí en Stanford Bridge, así que... En Stanford Bridge tomorrow, and that's, that's the aim, to win the game. We will give our everything to make sure that happens. Ivan, Kerry Brown being sports. Everyone's talking, of course, about your main man, Lionel Messi. What's the view in the Barcelona dressing room of Eden Hazard and your view of him as a player? Is he world class? <laughs> Yeah, for me, he is. He's, he's maybe uh, the most important play, player uh, for Chelsea. But uh, we know that uh, Chelsea is not, not only Hazard. But for sure, he, yeah, we have to be ready tomorrow uh, to, stop, to stop him. We know that he's really, yeah, really fast, that he searches one against one. And uh, I think uh, if his last games, Yeah, he's in yeah, really good form. So we have to be <laughs> we have to be ready for him, but also for the whole team. So it will be a really special game tomorrow, and we have to enjoy together. Hi, Ivan Dharma Chef from Sky Sports. Um, some of the players from the last time Barcelona and Chelsea met still remain at Barcelona. Have you spoken to them, and how big a motivation was that result going into these two games? <laughs> Yeah, I think it will be really different. Uh, I spoke just a little bit with, with Andres uh, about this game, about uh, his goal, about his special uh, moments. He also told me about his first 30 minutes when they get uh, yeah, behind 3-0. Uh, and we spoke a lot of, uh, about this, this pressure in the first minutes about the stadium. But I think tomorrow it will be a different game. So uh, what happened before, we have to forget it. Uh, and tomorrow we have to do our, our best game. So uh, also I think Andres and all these guys, they played a lot of games here. And for sure, uh, yeah, they have a special feeling uh, for this game tomorrow. Hola, Ivan. Elena Kondis, Cadena Cope. Stanford Bridge es muy especial para Andrés Iniesta. ¿Qué significa para ti el capitán? Y no sé si te da miedo el pensar que se puede ir a final de temporada del Barça. Sí me da miedo. Y, y mucho, y no lo quiero. Y todo of course, I'm scared. Él, uh, y 
también para todo, todos los colegas. El otro día As we all are. Eh, he encontrado una botella de vino. The other day I found, I found a bottle of wine. And we need to make sure that we can enjoy as many moments as we, as we can with Andres and Iniesta in case he does leave in the future. Even when I was away from Barcelona before I joined them, you could see that Andres was such an integral member of the team. And I hope he has many more years with us. And he's a good friend of mine, so what I want is for him to be happy, for him to be enjoying it. And he has to know that I'll always be by his side, whatever he decides. ¿Qué te han contado de ese día, del día del golazo de Iniesta en Stamford Bridge? ¿Qué es lo que sabes de ese día? ¿Cómo lo viviste tú? Y no sé si habéis hablado con Iniesta pues, de hacer un gol así mañana, que lo haga. Pues ha sido como sea, ojalá. Ojalá. Bueno, no, tampoco hemos, hemos hablado demasiado alrededor de todo eso. Hemos hablado I haven't spoken too much with Leo and Andres about that, especial, the last game. De la emoción, cómo se vivía todo eso. But we know the emotion that there'll be in tomorrow night's game. It's going to be a very different game. We have to forget about everything that's happened and do the best game we possibly can and, and win it. In what is a great stadium, in what is the biggest stage, we have to work very hard, as we know. We're very excited for the game to start now. Hola Iván, aquí, delante tuyo. David Ibañez de Mediaset Sport. Se había hablado mucho de que el, el Paris Saint Germain, con todo el gasto que hizo, We've spoken a lot about Paris Saint Germain and the money that they've spent to, to sign Neymar. They seem to be the, 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 the main favourites for the competition. Parece que ya no lo es tanto, que, que el Madrid sí que es un favorito. ¿Tú cómo ves ese favoritismo de, de la Champions? ¿Sois el Madrid y el Barça? Historically, it's been Madrid and Barcelona as the favourites. Do you think that's still the case? We have to speak about the champion at the moment. That's Real Madrid. And it's normal that they're the favourites or up there. And then obviously Paris have signed Neymar, so they have to be considered, and that's normal. There's a pressure on us, pressure on us as well. And we always see ourselves up there with, with the best. But with, with all respect, there's a lot of other teams that could potentially win it. And to win every game is a very hard thing to do these days. So we want to just keep going as we're going, in the good form we're in. Creo que es a lo mejor la más igualada o la más uh, bueno, complicada de los últimos años, así que no puedes dejar ningún momento. And so we just can't leave any moment on the pitch. We've got to play the game like it's our last and give everything to win. Two last questions, las dos últimas preguntas. Hola Iván, aquí detrás. Aquí, aquí. Tú, muchas gracias para el diario Marca. You're now playing in a 4-4-2 more often than not. Do you prefer playing in the position next to Sergio Busquets or do you prefer to play on the left or the right? What's your, which, where are you most comfortable? Above all, I just want to play, on the, play the game. Wherever is best for the team, I'll play wherever the manager chooses. I do obviously feel a bit more comfortable in the middle. That's where I've played at my best with, with the national team, where I've done my best matches, where I've felt most comfortable. Obviously having Busquets very close to me really helps and helps the whole team. But every game is different, you have to see what the, the, the opponent is all about and react accordingly. So I'll play wherever I need to play. 
ante todo al mister al cuerpo técnico y a mis compañeros que pueden contar conmigo and my, I know my teammates can count on me to give my best whether I play in the middle or on the side Hola Iván aquí Marc Marva de la portería de BTV el, el Chelsea normalmente está jugando con este 352 con unos laterales Chelsea normally play with the 352 with full backs very wide How does Barcelona need to adapt defensively with their 442 to cope with this Chelsea team Bueno conociendo un poco a su mister well, knowing their manager as I do a little bit, he's, going, he's very meticulous, he's going to make sure every last detail has been decided. And we need to do the same. And we have to just focus on ourselves above all. We've obviously analysed all the strong points of Chelsea. We understand them. And to beat Chelsea, you have to be at your very, very best. We need to do an almost perfect game. And they will have obviously looked at all the specific details of us. And so now we just need to go out and enjoy the game, do our very best, play our style of football, and hope that it's enough.